Sigh? I ask, confused by his sudden change. I step back again as he takes another step closer. What are you doing? My voice shakes as he steps past the threshold of my small apartment, kicking the door shut with a booted foot. The tension in the room is building as we face one another. I'm confused. One minute, he's looking so torn I had to ask the question, and the next, something snapped in him. My chest rises and falls as the anticipation of having him builds every second he stands inside my home. I don't know if he's teasing me or what this is, but the look in his eyes is telling me he's just as turned on as I am. Ever since the night at the shop last week, I knew he was bad news with an equally bad attitude. But as he stood in front of me in the hallway, fighting whatever he was fighting, I knew no matter how hard I tried to condemn him for it, I couldn't. Now that I'm about to get what I want, what I've craved since I walked into Ink Me, I'm not so sure of myself. He takes yet another step towards me. Wait, I say, holding my hands up for no reason other than to get my breathing under control. The man is dangerous. He has me wanting him with just one look, and he'll probably have me coming apart with his touch. He steps closer as I step back, his eyes narrow at each one of my retreats. One step forward, one step back. Him, the predator, me, his prey. Sunshine, I warn, feeling like I've bitten off more than I can chew. It was fun teasing him. Now as I retreat, I second guess my play. My back reaches the wall, halting me in my escape. His grave face drops for a moment when he sees I have nowhere else to run. And then his hard, warm body presses up against me, pushing me further into the wall. Getting on his bike tonight, I knew this was going to happen. But when he let me close the door, I was shocked. In one moment, he looks at me like he could eat me. And the next, it's like he can't get away quick enough.